Hey, middle school, good morning. It is a hot mess Monday. I hope all of you had a great weekend and you're doing well. Um, I just wanna give you a quick devotion this morning. I found this devotion on my Uversion app called Lit Looters. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really sure what lit is unless it's lit like, whoa, that's lit, but I don't know. Um, so um, I thought it was a good, um, I don't know, it's just good. So this is what I'm gonna give for you today. So it says one of the biggest lit looters or joy robber is fear. Fear is false evidence appearing real. Fear has a way of making a real deal out of a shadow. A more intensified version of fear is worry and sometimes chronic anxiety. Fear loots you of your time. It gets you engaged in thought unproductive. It gets you engaged in thought unproductive thought patterns. In unproductive thought patterns. There we go. Sorry. And when you think of it in retrospect, you've lost more time in pondering than actually doing something about it. <clears throat> when this lit looter is at work, it paralyzes a person. Fear also loots you of your ability to think. It punctures your ability to think positively and creatively. Probably this lit looter has already robbed you of much, victimizing you to your circumstance. I don't know about you guys, but we're living in this crazy time with um, uh, pan the corona pandemic and quarantine and stay-at-home orders, and it's just been so crazy to try and figure it all out. And I know that I've struggled with just being afraid of what's coming next, you know, what's going to happen when all of that stuff. So um, when we think about it, fear really does consume our thoughts. And if we spend a lot of time focused on what we're afraid of, it's difficult to move forward in the good things that are around us. We agree your problem may be big and really serious, but having fear or being fearful is not at all helpful. When this lit looter is trying to encroach into your life, remember the words of Jesus in Matthew 6, 34. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. It's one of my favorite verses. <clears throat> Think about it. More and more viral than the real problem itself is the pandemic of fear. So don't let fear get the better of you. The Bible reminds us that one of the names by which Jesus is referred to in the Bible is Emmanuel, which means God is with us. We can be rest assured that even in times of intense fear, he is with us. It's okay to not know what is ahead of me as long as I know who is with me, right? We don't know what the next week or month or year is going to hold, but we know that Jesus is with us. Don't You deal with this lit looter today by facing it and fighting it. Don't allow it to rob you of your joy in this season. It is said that the Bible has a mention of the phrase, fear not, around 365 times, which is a great encouragement, but we need to, sorry, there's my dog. We really need to hear that just once and let it sink in, fear not. So our prayer for this week is, dear God, as I come before you, you take over my fears from the smallest to the largest. I receive your word to me that encourages me to not fear. Break the stronghold of fear and anxiety and worry in my life that I myself, that I find myself drawing near to you and fighting off every negative and destructive thought pattern. Amen. So that's where we need to focus this week is drawing near to God in those moments when we are fearful, let him speak to us. And I just want to go over a couple of verses again. Um, Matthew 6, 34. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. And Isaiah 35, 4 says, Say to those with fearful hearts, be strong, do not fear. Your God will come. He will come with vengeance, with divine retribution. He will come to save you. So one thing that I've had to find myself doing is um, in the beginning of all of this, I was like, oh, how am I ever going to do this for three weeks? And then we got the shutdown order and then it was extended to May 1st. And I, the beginning of April, I just cried and I said, how am I going to do this until May 1st? And then we get word that we're not going back to school and, and how am I going to do this for so long? And, and God really spoke to me about living in each moment. Like we don't have to think all the way through to the end of the school year. We don't have to think through to the end of summer. We don't have to think about those things. We have to be able to make it through this moment. So on this day, this Monday, when those things come up and bother you, let God take them from you, let him give you peace, and then you don't have to struggle with your fear anymore. And then tomorrow, you tackle tomorrow. 
and we'll get through this. And please remember that if you have any questions or if you need prayer, please email Mrs. Morgan or Mrs. Carol or I. We'd be happy to pray with you. If you need to talk, um, we can Zoom or FaceTime or just, you know, chat through email, whatever you need. Just want you to know that we're available and that we're praying for you and hope that you have a very peaceful and calm Monday.